Welcome back. <laughs> okay, it's five minutes later. In all honesty, it's five minutes later than we just stopped the last video. But we're moving on to a different topic and the baby's still asleep. So we're going to take advantage of the quiet while we have it. All right. So the title of this video, as you've already seen, is called Making the Choice, Getting Started in the Basics. So, honey, do you want to start out with um, what questions or reservations we had about Optavia, like in general, or kind of like the history, like your mom had been doing it and talk, trying to talk us into it and stuff? Um, so my mom has been the queen of fed diets since I was a child. Um, and so we thought this was just another one of her. Like, oh, Nene's on another diet. Do for a few weeks and then drop it and move on about life. Um, so I think our major, major reservation, even though, um, she had kind of had us from the start was. Like, does it work? Is it going to work? Yeah. What's, Can what's, you stick uh, with it? Is, is it sustainable? Is there a longevity? Mm-hmm. I think probably one of my concerns more than yours beyond that is just like the taste because just we'll get into the, the premise of the of the program and kind of how it works um but just the diet food and feeling like you were eating something that was like sort of pre-packaged pre-made pre-made gross like that was just our conception about it um but every time you know my mom and sister were doing this for months every time with them they're like here taste this yeah here, they've got this. they've snuck some here, bites taste in this. They're like, you want to try my silky peanut butter bar? And we're like, no, okay. it's just like, honestly, everything I tasted was decent. Was so yeah, it was it's pretty okay, good. Yeah. Um, so I guess you can kind of take that away from your reservations that the food actually does taste like food. So that's good. Yeah. Um, I think the other, probably the main factor for us was cost. Yeah, it was. Um, it is a bit of a, an investment, but I mean, you're investing in your health. So, I mean, I mean, how much is is your ideal weight loss, is your ideal lifestyle, is your ideal health uh, worth to you? Right. Um, and it was a, a pill that you had to swallow. We choked on it for a while before we, we took the bullet. And well, I mean, for those people watching that maybe it. don't know, it's $417 a month um, for your box of your fuelings, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, and so for the two of us, that was going to be over $800. And we were thinking, okay, we're a family of seven. Like, can we really... Um, you know, do that. And that was something we chewed on for a while. But my mother-in-law, um, like kind of took the truth stick to me a little bit. She's like, um, Abby, if you add up what you spend in Starbucks, which I might add is not as much as I used to spend because we do not live in the city anymore. Um, if you take what you spend on Starbucks and Chick-fil-A and all the crap at the grocery store, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, you think just the random lunches McDonald's, here and there that you yeah. didn't have time to pack in the morning. So you have to grab something quick. Uh, you know, breakfast that you have to stop and grab on the way to school because you woke up late that day. Right, donuts, Sonic sandwiches. I mean, okay, like, you know. You and, got... you know, just the the thought process of making sure you have all of these things available all day, every day, right throughout the month, throughout the week. And when we looked at our bank account, we really found truth to what she said, which she's probably sitting here like, hey, hey, I was right. But that's okay. She can be right on this one. But um, so we finally just said, okay, yes, it's a financial commitment, but if we can budget a little bit better and kind of plan that we're only going to have to spend money at the grocery store for our lean and green, which is great because our kids eat lunch at school. They actually even eat breakfast at school too. So, um, so we, we're making the commitment. For the kids, yeah. It's not, not that much more than normal. And we are investing in ourselves, which we haven't mm -hmm. done really, I guess, since we started having kids. So. Yeah, it's been, we did some like different programs early on in our marriage, but you know, pregnancy and having kids and newborn and no sleep and you just forget about that kind of stuff. Um, it's survival. Uh, also, I would say on the cost thing too, one of the things that really actually in the other way influenced us to try the program and then to become coaches was really, there is a financial opportunity there. Um, and I know as a teacher and a football coach, we're kind of always looking for that extra thing that we can do um, to help get our family what they need. And so we're really excited about that aspect of it is sharing something we love, helping other people, showing the results that we know uh, everyone can be capable of getting if they stick to the program. Um, and then, like I said, results. I mean, that was, that was the main thing that really drove it home to us. We actually went home for Christmas and, you know, with COVID, we haven't really gotten to be around our family a lot and we hadn't seen... Nene and Aunt B in almost several couple months, right? Yeah. I mean, not much at all. Yeah. At least seven or eight weeks. And we were shocked. I mean, were you not shocked when you saw them in person? Oh, yeah. I think that was kind of the like, they knew when we saw them, we were like, oh, our Weight Watchers or whatever else. <laughs> We've been 
trying to do and count calories and count points just wasn't is not getting it. wasn't cutting it. So that was why we decided um, to kind of make the choice. All right, so I guess moving on so that this video isn't too long. Our next thing was getting started. So do you want to just, I guess, maybe explain a little bit like the premise of the program real quick, and then we can talk about what we bought and collected to kind of like start. Because guys, we're starting. So today um, is what, January 4th? Yeah, I third. Think. third. So we're starting the program on January 5th, Tuesday, because our box is arriving tomorrow. So stay tuned for our unboxing. I'm really excited to see all the things that come in the box. Um, but why don't you talk about just the basics and then we'll get into that. Uh, the program, it, it's a four a four part uh, program. The first part is the coach. Uh, you do have somebody that walk you step by step through the process, which for us, that would be my mother. Um, she's had massive success with it already. So she can mm -hmm. kind of guide us and make sure that we stay on track. Uh, two, it is the community, um, the Facebook groups, and the support system that you have around you uh, throughout the entire process is absolutely unbelievable. Um, wow, mine just went blank on the third one. The life book. Uh, the yeah. life book, thank you. Um, the life book is, is what kind of guides you to changing your lifestyle and your life habits. And mentality about food. Um, so that you can attack this program through the weight loss into the maintenance phase once you have achieved your weight loss goal so that you are able to sustain this um, lifestyle and completely transform your life. Mm -hmm. By um, making healthy choices, knowing how to... To be your healthiest... Eat whole best foods. you you can be. Yeah. Um, and then the fourth piece is the fuelings and um, what initiates the weight loss at the beginning of the program to kind of get every, get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. That's what everyone thinks about when you think of like Optavia or Optavia. Um, you think it's about the, the, the five in one program. Mm -hmm. You have five fuelings a day that that's provided. That's what that's what you're paying for. It's prepackaged. Uh, the yeah. program itself is free. You you pay for the food. That's all you pay for. Everything else comes with it. Um, so you have five fuelings a day. That's your breakfast, your lunch, uh, three snacks throughout the day, and then you uh, decide what your lean and green is. And that can be as easy as chicken and broccoli, or as, as if you look on that face, some of the Facebook groups, you can get some pretty, pretty delicious looking meals. Yeah, we in there. we kind of planned the people. Different coaches have different suggestions for how you start on your lean and green. I like to cook, and I feel like that's one of the things I might miss on this program. So our first week, and planning is key, so plan out your meals ahead of time. We already did grocery shopping, but our first week we have, like, I think hamburger soup and some uh, spaghetti squash lasagna boats and some other things like that. So we are choosing um, to kind of really cook on those lean and greens, but I'm sure we're going to get to, like, football season or whatever and want to do just, like, grilled chicken and it's broccoli, too. Easy. Yeah, just be easy. So there's options options across mm -hmm. whatever you whatever you're comfortable with doing. Yeah, the other really cool thing um, is you can get this dining out guide. Um, Brenton's mom got it for us. And it has everything from like Chipotle to Jimmy John's to Burger King and all the places, Chili's, um, that it recommends what you eat for your lean and green. And so it, it realizes so keep that. keep you on plan. Right. The eating out is, is part stay of. stay on plan. Right. Uh, and for our life, eating out be. has been a part of it. And it won't be as much now that we're doing the program. But, you know, say you have a birthday dinner for your dad at Chili's and you want to go, it it lets you choose a healthy choice. Um, Okay. So we're going to, I mean, get into so much more of this as we move on, but that's just like the basics. So getting started, which is probably what you're interested in, um, what you need. And these are all, I mean, I don't know. These are suggestions. I guess you don't necessarily need them, but we felt like they were the basics of what. Set up for yeah. success. All right. So number one, a shoe holder over the door. What do you do the what do you do with this, babe? Uh, this is where we're gonna, you're going to organize your fuelings. Um, so it makes it really easy just to grab and go. In the morning, uh, just keeps everything right there so you know when it's time to reorder, when you're running low on stuff, what you like, what you don't like. It's just an organizational tool for, for yeah. all of your 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 fuel links that you're going to have. So we're going to hang that kind of like on our pantry door thing in the kitchen. And um, just that's the first choice before you open to find anything else. Um, so we did that. Let's see. Um, water bottles. Water bottles. Uh, so water is key. Um, we did if this you're not, not putting water ounces. in your body, you're putting something differently in, something bad. Uh, you do need to drink 64 ounces a day of At water. Least, yeah. You think that's a, that's a lot, but it's really not. If you um, if you fill the water, if you start drinking, it's going to go pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, recommendation in general life is half your body weight, but you have to have at least 64 ounces yeah. um, a day. You would probably have more than that just to get yeah. your hydration in. But um, those are really good um, so that we got those uh, refillable water bottles. 
Um, these are super oh, cute. So a lot of the fuelings um, you add water to. I mean, there's some that are pre-done like bars and um, some stuff like that, but you have the chocolate chip um, pancakes or the cinnamon cream cheese waffle and you need uh, tablespoons of water. And so this is a little four tablespoon uh, measuring cup. It's easier than using like the little spoon. Um, Renee recommended these to us. We got them at Walmart. They're like 99 cents each. Um, the fuelings that have to be mixed with water and or cooked um, in the microwave or oven come with these little ramekins that are paper and they throw away, which is super great. No dishes. Um, but this little tiny spatula set um, will help us be able to stir that water into that stuff. Let's see. We also got, oh, these are pretty cute. I'm excited about these. So we got a pancake and waffle maker. These are mini. They're really tiny. We'll show you our first day when we open them. What, what do you do with these, babe? Um, you cook your pancakes and waffles and other dishes. <laughs> My sister-in-law has that grilled cheese hack recipe for the waffle maker with the mashed potatoes. So I'm excited about that. Everybody that we talked to has said that you got to have one of those. Yeah. Um, my mother-in-law and sister-in-law eat a waffle or pancake every morning to start their day. And those are easy, no mess, quick little uh, deal. So we're excited for that. Also on that pancake and waffle note, um, sugar-free syrup. They do recommend Walden Farms kind. We went to Walmart and they didn't have that. So great value will work just as fine. Um, so this is counted as a condiment on the plan. Um, another thing we recommend that you do is print out your condiment list, um, before you start, which we can probably link this down below in the description box. Um, so that'll be a good thing to have on hand. But you do get three condiments a day and that sugar-free syrup is a good one to to use to get your day going. And enhance that in the morning. Um, let's see, they also recommend a digital scale, which we have in our bathroom, I didn't pull it out, um, and a food scale, which we've ordered but has not arrived yet. That's for your lean and green. They recommend five to seven ounces of lean meat. And um, some people like to measure their vegetables out by grams too, instead of cups. Um, and if you're gonna be thinking about being a coach, one of the things that um, we got for us to coach is this large planner and erasable pens. Um, so that we can write our client information down and kind of keep track of who's needing what. So that is that. Do you have any like closing comments? I think we are already 12 minutes into this video, so it's probably long enough. Um, Just ready to roll, ready to rock yeah, and roll. we're excited. Unboxing tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And um, we'll be posting some more videos of kind of like getting started and then we'll definitely be posting daily for at least our first week. Um, so you guys can kind of see what we're eating and how it's going and what we're feeling. All right. Good night, guys.